Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Creative Cloud. My name is Amanda. With me today I have very, very special people. Well, it's a very special sector to me because it's something that I recently went into. But before we continue, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and most importantly, share. So, today we have photographers in the house. And to my left, I have Samuel. And to my right, I have Award. <laughs> Award-winning money for the best creative shots in photography. So, when you, when you won the award yesterday, how did you feel? Well, um, I was I was excited. Um, it was very very competitive. Like the category was competitive because mm. every single person in the category was like really hardworking throughout the year and everything. But when I was called up, I was excited and it felt good. So, what was the <coughs> the selection process like was it maybe sending five pictures and you're good or sending just one good piece and then oh um there was like an award academy that um screened different nominees so what they used to screen was like um they would check if your works are out in the public where you've published them mm. let's say you've worked with um, a number of reputable brands and mm. if you've um establish a certain level of um, street cred based mm. on your photography or what you do. So when they did that selection process, then they um, put people's names up for nominations and then yeah. people got to vote and then so, they announced the winners and stuff. Nice. So tell us, Samuel, how did you get into photography? Well, it started for me in 2012, basically. And I just come out from secondary school and I was looking for a way to express myself as part of my environment. And so I had a phone then, so I started doing photography with my phone. Yeah. And I took pictures and I'll have them on my phone, show my mom and to, or my friends, my mom, my parents. Mm. So. Then I mean, that's when you really went in. So, how did you, so what did you do? Did you, you know, some people, they watch YouTube videos and then they, um, Learn, learn stuff, stuff yeah. like how to use the camera and yeah. or did you actually so how did you access access that um at that time was limited so i had to i had to reach out to somebody okay a woman by the way shout out to her she's the first person that taught me the rudiments of photography yeah so i reached out to her through my mom yeah we connected and she taught me the basics and she took me along when she was going for events and shoots and stuff so I picked up photography quickly. The interest in photography. So quickly how how from long that. was it? For like how many months or mm, a year or what? I think six to seven months. I stayed with her, and we we had a nice time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, nice. So how did you how did you get into photography? Because um, you're a well, you're almost a pharmacist. Oh. So. That's too, yeah, that's too. Um, how did I get into photography? Um, I've always been interested in creative stuff. <coughs> so, um, in my first year in University of Lagos, I, I started taking pictures on my phone, but I wasn't really looking at it professionally and stuff. And then, um, I think the first time I handled a digital camera was a, a friend of my my brother's friend that had um, his induction ceremony and he was like he has this digital camera he this wants was more to, year. that was in my first year in okay. Unilag okay. so he was like he wants me to photograph his induction ceremony okay. and then he was going to pay me to make videos and pictures and I'm like okay okay <laughs> like I had never held a digital camera before it was just a more like a cool pics kind of camera and um, one thing I I sort of try to pride myself in is that I can improvise and like find ways to yeah. do stuff. So I picked it up and I try and error, try and error. I did a couple of things and then even if it didn't like come out as good as whatever, the attempt it yeah. in itself now helped. So um, a couple of friends also helped me to give me their cameras to like try out, like fit Annie, shout out to her. So and she gave me her camera and I just kept on trying and trying and trying to I got better. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to come up with a safe word. 
right. because of time. Okay. And then because you know you can just answer, you can just keep, you can just be in your element and just keep going on and, true, on, and true, on and on and on, which is quite nice. But yeah. then because of time, so yeah. we're going to talk a safe word. Um, so it can be from colors to food, fruits, anything. So what safe word do you think we should use? Orange. What safe word? Orange. Orange. Yeah, orange. Okay, so orange is a safe word. So moving on, what is photography to you? What is photography to you guys? Did you go first? Like, not the, not the generic meaning, because <laughs> this was, it was like, for you personally, what's photography? Do the honors. Okay. <laughs> um, I, think, I think for me, photography is like, um, and, and it's like a, a medium for which I can express myself. A, a good opportunity for me to look at a certain um, image or a person or an object and then try mm. to um, show it in a certain light that makes it look more attractive or makes it look um, more acceptable or like I generally think when I when it comes to portrait photography for instance I tend to think it's an opportunity for me to make you see yourself differently like mm. in a better light and all that so Basically, so what type of photography are you into? I'm into events, portraits, and fashion mainly. So actually. what's like your go-to? What, which one do you prefer doing? <sighs> I can't really pick one. <laughs> I, I really can't pick one. But I do a lot of, I love portraits actually. Yeah, people people be, believe that I'm very good at portraits. So I would say <laughs> they would portrait. say. Oh, they would say. They would, like, they would say. <laughs> so what you what will you say? What will I say? That you're better at. <laughs> ah. Okay, let's still go with portrait. Let's still portrait. Portrait, yeah. nice. So, what photography to you? Life, basically. Um, I would say my first camera is my eye. Like, I found out that when I look at stuff, it makes more than the usual sense Why to me. To and do? so... See, we say <laughs> and so I found out that, that when I look at <laughs> <laughs> this now. When I look at stuff, I try to okay, how best can I represent this thing I'm seeing with my eye? Mm. And so I photography is that to me, the representation of how I see things in my eye. So it's basically life. That's what photography is. So now me. like every day you're just seeing so we can be looking at the same thing but to you it's just like different no. different, different. No, it's different i think so, that's, that's that's the problem in photography <laughs> <laughs> I, I can look at this object and then all you see is just some guy yeah with a oh, or whatever. yeah i'm looking at lights <laughs> how the light is casting like bouncing on the, you get yeah. i'm like okay if i'm going to take it from this angle how it's going to look like and all that nah <laughs> so it's, what type of photographer are you into Mm, documentary, basically. I think that's what. So, what drew you to documentary? Uh, my environment, basically. You know, when I would, I used to walk to school when I was still in secondary school. Believe it or not, I walked to school and I would see children like me, and I would see, you know, the environment they were in and their circumstances, and those. I, I wouldn't say it, it, it was an eye-opening. Yeah. period in my life and I got to see other people's experiences and I said well, you know what I need to have these experiences for myself I need to visualize these experiences for mm. myself and that drew me to documentary photography basically yeah okay so <coughs> what makes a good picture stand out from the rest so you guys for example what makes your work stand out what makes you feel like okay well because in the pool of photographers, there are a lot of photographers. Yeah, sure. So what, what do you feel like, mm, I try to add a little bit of this into my work and I just make it a little bit, and that's why people like my stuff, so. Okay, um, for portraits, um, it's, it's obvious when someone is trying to express something from mm -hmm. their looks. So some people feel that, okay, if you take a picture of someone, anything you take can be good, just pose. And it's gonna be fine, but if you make your muse go through an experience while you're taking the picture, it's going to tell when the picture comes out. So when I take pictures, most times I try to ensure that my my model or my muse try to express something that I can just capture and put in that frame. So the expression, for instance. Secondly, um, when I do my my process and my retouching and my editing, I try to make it look as realistic as possible mm. but still as much as possible acceptable for 
you to accept people and pleasing for people to look at you get so you you won't get me blurring out a lot of very very obvious um yeah features of the person so what like yeah. this experience how do you put people through that experience? that that is that is the crazy thing because you would have to turn into something else. You have to turn into a comedian. You have to turn into a conversationalist. You have to turn into different. So someone things. who is like into their show, how would I just come and then I just turn myself into? A I have to find a way. I have to find a way to like blend into what you are good at. Sometimes I have um, conversations with my clients. Like I talk with you for like a whole hour to get to know you, yeah. get to flow with you, so we can connect on a certain level. So it's way deeper than just the picture itself. Mm. So when I connect with you in that certain level, when we're taking the pictures and you're like, okay, okay, this this feels different than mm. every other photographer's yeah. um, time with me. Yeah. Yeah. So what would you say? I would say spontaneity. Mm. <laughs> that's what I think yeah, makes I my... Like, <laughs> that's, 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 that's what makes my... <laughs> Um, my picture was different. I feel yeah. it has to be the moment. Like I could stand in a particular spot and try to get a shot of a woman selling beans. Mm. The moment she's taking that cup and pouring the, the grains together, I could stand and I want to get that moment. So it's about moments for me in my documentary photography. And that moment has to be perfect. And once it's perfect, anybody that looks at it might, you just might get my my mindset or my headspace where I was at when I took that yeah. picture. So do you think you plan or do you plan on burdening like your, shall I say, what you do now? So apart from documentary, do you plan on going into any other field? Like? I, think, I think Nigeria has planned for me already. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like we were discussing before, the, before we went live. Yeah. You, you, you don't get jobs by sticking to one, you know, area or category of photography, whatever it is. So you have to expand your horizon. I said this, but I, I, I also do a lot of portraits and I, I do a lot of events too. Not a lot of, but I do events so too. Would so would you say, um, if you do documentary in Nigeria, you, you, you can't really thrive in that. You always have to end up either doing fashion, portraits, events, most especially events. I, 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 get, I, get, I think <laughs> events, sort of fall into documentary, sort of, yeah. like subtly fall into I documentary. Agree. But the thing is, for documentary, documentary, like the typical documentary photography, like what he described, like a man selling beans in the, uh, on the mm. road or something, you don't, you don't see someone coming to um, book you to go and photograph stuff yeah. like that. Unless if you have like big brands or yeah. big corporations that have like big jobs. And before you can get to these people, you need to like, do a lot of personal projects that will cost you a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of efforts. And if you don't have that luxury of time and efforts, you, you just might not be able to reach out to those big people. To so give what would you say to someone who just wants to do documentary? Like, I just have the hats for documentary only and I don't see anything else. I can't even be bothered. I can't do events. I can't do fashion. I can't do anything. I just do documentary. How do I get jobs? No, no, you can do that. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 not even how do I get jobs. Like, how do what, I... What do you like, tell the person? Like, mm, like, like, what I would tell the person is this. You either go for what you want or you go for what the market needs. If you mm. need the money, you have to go for what the market needs. Yeah. You get. So, um, most times I tell people not to focus on the money a lot because when you focus on the money, you end up doing something you might not be good at or proficient yeah. at and then you would reach the market and the market is like, we wanted this, but you're not good at it. So yeah. it rejects you and stuff. So not knowing that you're actually good at good something. Good at, yeah. So yeah. If, you, if, you, if you stick to what you're good at and try to do it as much as possible, practice, 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 practice. Yeah. One day, sometime, it's going to like pop. Mm. And someone will be like, oh, where has this guy been? Or who is this guy? And they'll be like, he blew overnight. Not knowing that he has been working hard for a very yeah. long time. Yeah. So... so how many years do you think someone would have to, you know, have learned about photography and all that before they say, oh, I'm a professional photographer and come and book me and stuff like that? <laughs> like, there's no time frame per se. I don't think you'd, you'd, you'd have learned about photography for five, six, seven years before mm -hmm. you can say, yeah, I'm a, I'm a professional photographer. Mm. I, I, I don't even find the term professional photographer. Like, mm. I don't find it 
You don't believe in the yeah. You don't believe I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't. Everybody is a fucking guy. It just depends on your perspective. You can How see it. it. <laughs> Count the moment. But then, I, mean, I feel, I feel that word professional photographer has like been abused yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. And it makes people who are not really, really, really even enthusiastic or even pushing just once they just acquire the name I'm a professional photographer they think that's what the work is all about yeah. so I think um, I would tell people that who are interested in photography to don't really focus so much on trying to call yourself a professional photographer just get good at your art and keep on expressing so yeah. when you see the work you'll be like oh no this has to be professional like yeah. this has to be you, you can't like dispute the fact that that work you saw is yeah. good and you have to give it credit for it yeah. Thank you.